Joining me from here in Washington to discuss China's space program is Amitav Ghosh. He's a space scientist who's worked on NASA's Mars mission since 1997. So the first space station components have successfully docked. What, what is next? So I think at some point you have to complete the space station. So I guess that will take 11 flights in total. I think two are done. So the remaining nine would be done over the next um, um, next year or so, I guess, 2022, by 2022. And then I I think um, astronauts, the plan is to have astronauts um, stay there in the station, space station as it is supposed to be. How important is China's space station? And what will it mean for collaboration in space with other countries? Um, so let, let's back up and just understand why a space station is important at all. Um, so humans, different countries have aspirations to go into space, yet the human body is not, um, you know, they're not really adjusted to space. Uh, human, the human muscles, the, they don't really adapt well to low gravity or no gravity. And um, humans are social creatures and it's very lonely in space. So the space station is really a platform to um, get humans acquainted to larger distances, to travel larger distances in space. So for China, this is the third generation space station. Um, and so that's a very big deal. And they'll, they will probably have this as an outpost to test out these new technologies. Um, and I think it's, um, and, and NASA, you know, NASA already has the International Space Station, which it runs with many international partners. So technically not NASA, it's actually an international space station. That is kind of tapering off and coming to the end of its logical life. Um, and so NASA will per perhaps take a uh, decision as to whether to extend it or whether to, uh, at some point, uh, taper it off. I want to shift to Mars for a second, and I'd like to get your thoughts on the progress of China's Mars rover mission. We saw images sent back this week of the red planet's surface. I just want to get your thoughts on that. It's a fascinating frontier. This is going to be the most exciting thing of this decade. We are probably going to find some sort of, my thinking, um, that we'll find some sort of previous life, past life, or present life on Mars. And so is there uh, ice under the um, surface? Is there um, um, water under the surface? Uh, are there any relics of previous organisms that um, lived on Mars? So you recall Mars, for the first maybe 500 million years, had an ocean, and it was much like Earth. So there is a very good likelihood that there may have been biological creatures. So the rover right now, the Chinese rover, is likely making these geological uh, observations of mineralogy, etc. It's also looking for something very interesting as is perseverance of whether there is using a radar instrument, whether there is underground water, uh, and if yes, at what amounts and uh, at what depth. Um, and so these will have huge repercussions on planning a human mission to Mars. So this is a very exciting time for Mars exploration. Can't wait to see what they come back with. Amitabh Ghosh, great to see you again as always. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's always a pleasure.